Okay, now I'm going to illustrate the concept of triangulation. Let's say there's a tree over there, and I want to know the distance to the tree. So how do I do that? Uh, this technique is used constantly by surveyors, and also it's used in astronomy to figure, the, uh, figure out the distance to stars by using what's known as the parallax angle. So the method is based on what's known as triangulation. I would have to find out the angle to the tree from a certain baseline. Then I would come over here, wherever I'm standing, and then I'm gonna go walk over, walk over a certain distance, let's say to the other side of the tree, and look over to the tree again, measure the angle again, and then if I know the length of my baseline, I could figure out the distance to the tree. So let's let's use the okay. Let's use the compass on my iPhone. It's going to be a rough measurement here. I'm just going to be pointing it to the tree. And right now it says about 181 degrees south to where I was on the on the left side of the tree and I'm gonna be facing the tree again and now using the iPhone compass it's now showing 205 degrees southwest 206 degrees southwest again this is a rough measurement so now let me measure my baseline okay now I've placed the leaf um, and I placed the meter stick, uh, tape measure, and I'm measuring the length of the baseline. This tape measure goes about seven and a half meters, and it goes all the way over here. And I gotta go a little bit more, because I have another leaf over here for my other location. So seven and a half meters, and if I move this over, let's, Let's move it over a little bit here. Okay, now I move the tape measure over and it looks like it's about a meter from where I left off. And you can see here, it's about a meter. So that would be eight and a half meters is my baseline. You could cut that in half and you could say four and a half, uh, 4.25 is half of that triangle. So now I actually place the tape from where the baseline that I was standing and again I'll have it going all the way to the tree so I can measure the actual distance to the tree. And right now I'm at a seven and a half meter. I put a little marker here and now I can put my tape measure. Okay, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Now I pulled it, so I have two of seven and a half meters. That's 15 meters. And then I'll pull it some more from there. I've got a couple more meters left. Okay, now I moved it over. And it looks like, you see right now, I'm next to the tree right here. This is the tree that I was looking at and right about uh, three meters i'm gonna be rounding it to the whole numbers so about three meters here so 15 uh 15 plus three that would be 18 meters so the distance to my tree was 18 meters my baseline was eight and a half meters then we'll do the calculations analyze the data from the triangulation experiment, we measured, we had the tree here, and this was uh, eight and a half meters, and then I measured this distance, we can call that the distance experimental, to be 18 meters. So I want to show you how this can be used as a way to calculate distances to far off objects without having to cross that distance such as the distances to stars.
and to planets and to other far off objects, we could use the parallax uh, angle of that star to find the distance to that star. So what I found is that when I was looking at the tree from this side, the angle was 181 degrees, so something like this. And the angle is measured from the north, uh, so the, whether that be the true north or the magnetic north, but the angle is measured. So that means it was 181 degrees this way. From here, if I draw a parallel line, so imagine this is to the, to the north of the Earth. And then this angle was measured to be 260 degrees. So what does that mean? Well, if I take this line of the triangle and I draw it over here, almost like a duplicate here, parallel to this, that means this angle is the difference of the two, so that's going to be 25. So let's write the 260 degrees here. So this is going to be 25 degrees, okay? So let's now make a simplified assumption that um, the tree is right in the middle of the, my baseline. So my baseline is eight and a half meters. So the tree is right in the middle and then this, the triangle is symmetric. So this angle, if I cut, up, cut it exactly in half, this is going to be 90 degrees. So that means if this whole thing is 25, this part of it is 12 and a half. This part of it is 12 and a half. And if that angle is 12 and a half, and this is a perpendicular angle, that means this angle is 77 and a half degrees. And if this is 12 and a half, this is 12 and a half. This is 12 and a half. And then this is 77 and a half degrees. So my triangle, my triangulation here ended up to be 12 and a half degrees, uh, the dis uh, the, this angle is 77 and a half degrees, and this distance is half of my baseline, so it could be eight, uh, 4.25 meters. Okay? So, in, if you want to find this distance, I can say tangent of 77.5 is equal to d over 4.25 and then I have to multiply 4.25 times tangent of 77.5 and I get a distance of 19 meters this is I can call this distance theoretical from doing my calculations and my angles remember when I measured it I got 18 meters so I'm about a meter off now, why am I a meter off? Well, I made various uh, rough measurements when I calculated my baseline. I wasn't very careful that it's perpendicular to the tree. I wasn't careful whether the angles were symmetric. And when I was pointing to the tree, I was just using a rough measurement. I was uh, just turning the iPhone and whatever angle it said, I was rough bowling the angle. If I was off by a degree or so, then the answer would have been better. For example, if I was off a little bit here, let's say instead of 77, this angle was uh, 70, instead of 77 and a half, let's say it was 77. Let's say if I was a, a half a degree or a degree off, what would have happened? So imagine tangent 77. So I'm going to do 4.25 times tangent of 77. I get 18.4 meters. And that's quite a lot better. So even if I'm half a degree to a degree off from my very approximate measurements, I get my distance is very close to 18 meters. So you can see here the concept of triangulation and as applied to stars and parallax, this is a very uh, excellent way of finding distances to stars. Thank you.